When we're young, we sort of develop these things that we become passionate about and we our experiences totally dictate that. I wrote about um, lack of access and opportunity to outdoor education and recreation programs for uh, low-income youth. I just see a void in our programs. We offer a lot of great things to these kids. We let them garden and go to the science museum and uh, we give them books and tools for their schoolwork, but uh, there's, a, there's a missing piece there. When I see a family that has one bike for five kids, that's a problem. And um, when they haven't experienced all of Minnesota's amazing state parks uh, and they don't know that they're, at that, they're out there, um, I think that's something that can be changed. There's a big uh, move towards environmental justice uh, in, the whole, in the broader environmental movement, um, which often focuses on the problems that lower income families face, where their houses are placed, you know, where their low income houses are placed within the cities, um, how close they are to waste treatment facilities and things like that. And I think it's important that um, all children are able to see the beauty of Minnesota's natural resources and understand why they're so fragile and why they're so important.